Okay. Yeah. So. Ah. Uh, okay, Michael. Um, I have to ask you some question here. Okay. We want to be success, and I know a lot of investors out there not even know about this project. Okay. And can you explain it? Like you know how you do marketing, uh, in clean carbon project, and what's an idea? And I know this economy is it's really bad in crypto uh, markets right now. So, can you explain some for us to know? Yeah, 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 sure. So, um, as I as I mentioned to you before, I mean, overall, I think we spent just over four hundred thousand dollars for for marketing, and like we we had some bad luck. Like this was this was it because the, because of the timing. Uh, so, and we noticed this that after the the first crash, the price went down to three hundred. Many many people left the, the crypto. They just had like a break, and and we noticed that the, the impact of our marketing like dropped. Then there was another big big drop. Uh, BNB went down to like $180 something. Um, and it was just like the moment when we launched. So this was like really bad timing. But, but obviously like we, we cannot stop. And we, and we, uh, we have, we have, we, we've started like really big things um, with the marketing as well. This, like we're focusing at the moment mostly on Korean and Chinese communities because the, the somehow um, we, we managed to get them growing pretty, pretty big. We, we, we are just having like now, I think on 26th, there's going to be a huge video posted on Korean YouTube as a guy with 260 followers. I think he's like, he might be the biggest one in Korea. He wants to work with us and we are starting with this. We are still pushing in China as well. And, and just to give you like some big picture, like that, the way how we, like we need, it doesn't make sense to, to burn more money. Like it's not really about like, yeah, let's try everything. Let's just take all the money that we have and put it in marketing. Because at the end, if it doesn't work and the market conditions still didn't recover, if you look at the fear and greed index, it's still like very, very low. People are just really fri frightened at the moment. So it's really, a, it's, it's about timing and it's about surviving this like a first kind of couple of, of, of days. Um, and yeah, we just need to work and do our stuff. We have technical things. I'm working, I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm focusing my energy on technical things. We are building additional projects around the uh, products around the carbo. Udo is working on installations, our CEO. And things like, especially with the installations, things are really looking good. We are not, we are not afraid that this is not, this is not, that the project is going to collapse or anything like that. We have, we have enough money to, to run the company for another year, even if the crypto bear market is going to last that long, which I don't think is going to be the case. Um, yeah, so, so it's, it's, I, I know the price is dropping. Like we, obviously we, we wanted to help the community. We gave away a lot of airdrops, many, many millions of Carbo tokens when sent via, via airdrops. First of all, there was airdrops for the, for the first pre-sale buyers, uh, over 2 million Carbo tokens have been sent. Then there was another airdrop before 15% of the, of the tokens who, who got purchased got, got sent back to the people because we want to also protect the community and help them in a sense in the conditions like that. But there is a downside of that. People have access to tokens and some of them they sold. And this is, this yep. is why the price is going down. Like now we, we're not going to do any more ad drops for now. Everything is already sent. Everything is done. So we are just waiting for the rebounds of the price. And we are still, we are working on everything. We are doing marketing. Uh, we we also don't want to burn the money. So we now the deals that we're working, we, we have probably like eight people who are working with marketing, like everybody who's connected um, with us in marketing. And this is something that also I can discuss with you, Johnny, that people who have some uh, marketing connections, we we are giving them uh, like weekly or, or, the, or maybe bi-weekly allowance um, of Carbo. And then they can use this Carbo to find some marketing deals. This could be there on Twitter. This could be, uh, YouTube videos. This could be some like, uh, Telegram groups. Pe people can use this. So, so this is also like offered for you and for your community. If you, if you want to support, we, we, we can give you Carbo for this kind of, for this kind of activities. It's, it's not that much. We don't want to spend that much money. It's not because the more we spend for marketing at the moment, especially paying in Carbo, the, the more people l later can sell this carbo. So it's, it's, it's really about, about sp spending money wisely now. And we just have to move on. We just have to, we, everybody is here with the team. We are, we talk every day and we, we grow the project. We, we build things step by step and we, I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm, I, I know everybody who wants to go away already that they think it's, you know, that, that, that was bad timing. Carbo is not going to survive. Please do so. We're gonna we're gonna keep the community believes in the project, and I'm I'm pretty sure the project is gonna go up. 
um, in the next like weeks, months, and years to come. It's like we, once we deliver with the installation, it's just going to be explosion. And people who who are with us um, and patiently waiting for for the, for everything to be fulfilled, they're gonna they're, they're gonna be the better off. They're, they're gonna be the real winners. So okay, it's up to everybody to decide how they want to do it. If, well, if, they, if I could chip in as well, uh, because I think. From from the marketing perspective, just now, as as Michal has said, it's there's no point to burn money, to waste money, to put money in the ro- wrong slots. Pretty much ninety ninety percent of the slots are wrong. Only you know, it, it's like, what is the point of, of of losing more money if there is if there, there will be no outcome? So at the moment, we we have to regroup, and we are already regrouping, and we're trying to find the new ways. Of, 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 promo, of promoting clean carbon. And also what we're doing is um, we're focusing on preserving our community and, le- and teaching them how we, who we are, what we do, because the project is complex. It takes time. It, it doesn't take a day or two or three. It takes months for some people to understand what we do. And it is a process. And even the moderators, you know, uh, you know these people, we, we are focusing on, on training these people. And this is this is what we have to do and focus uh, apart from the marketing, preserve the community, strengthen the community, so they become endorsers. They, they people are they are like there are people on Twitter that are, they they post they post regularly, and it's this is what we want to do, but on a bigger scale. So my also my my, my priorities is to make sure that these people are well trained, and, and and they spread the the, the knowledge and they spread the, the awareness about what we do and on Twitter, because you know it's so easy to to waste money. I understand yeah. that you know, but like I said, I I have question you know come to me, investors asking me what is this project? I say, do you have you read the white paper? And they say, well, you know, I understand that, but I say, you know, if you not want to know the project is legit or a project just, you know, like regular other project out there, a lot of, of them are pump and dumb. So I explained to them, you have to read the white paper uh, and the roadmap that you want to pay attention on. And you see the developer team, they will follow the instruction on the roadmap or, you know, it's just like regular project out there that you try to make some money and run away. And I explained it to them, a lot of them not understanding, okay? It's just this project, about keep the earth green to help in uh, humanity uh, to the next section for environment, okay? And, uh, you know, like in your uh, white paper, you write it um, in there, is the machine gonna run by um, a wind turbine power or a solar panel I, or I think, electric? Let me, uh, let, 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 let me jump in because it's, it's even better than that. The, the machine only needs a little bit of gas to start and then it uses excess heat it generates. So about like 30% of generated heat, heat goes back to the machine and make it run. And the rest is generating as, 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 as producing syngas. So in a sense, once it's running, we don't, we don't need to build wind turb- turbines. We don't need to build solar installations because these things are expensive. The whole installation can run on itself pretty much once, it's, once it's, it uses a little bit of energy to, 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 to run it up. Then it just uses excess heat. So, so just okay. so you know, because it's, I think we don't okay. discuss this in the white paper anywhere. That's, that's why investors out there, they need to know. I have people asking me those questions, okay? So okay. I want all the questions clear. And a lot of people don't understand how this project will go in crypto uh, with the big um, idea and a big project like this. And I explain it to them, but not many of them believe in me because they don't think it's legit. And I just tell them, okay, when is a, a company from clean carbon already exists? And a crypto project is, is like a sponsorship to make the project run in the future and expand the company to worldwide. That's, That's why all it's, it's, investors... It's, 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 let, let, me, let, let, let me jump in because I think it's worth to clarifying this. I mean, yes, it's like a... It's, what you said, what you said is true, but it's only a small part of that. The reason why Carbo Token exists is because the whole business model that we are creating is just much better to do it with a token. It's not. It's the the, the financial part is only little little thing because we 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 still gonna we, we didn't collect enough 
money for the carbo cell to, to build the whole installation. We're still going to use venture capital investor. But having the, the, the token model, it's going to help to the project grow. We can, we can build this like circular economy, for example, that we're going to produce the, the, um, the hydrogen, the syn gas, and we, we, we sell it to petrol stations. Um, people can, people will be able to, to purchase pe- the, the hydrogen created paying directly with carbo. So it's like circular economy. The hotels as well, the same story. We can sell energy to the hotels and they pay us in carbo. This carbo goes back to the whole community because it's all connected. And then we can also grow carbo much better this way. For the for all future installations, we can have many events around the installations. We can have uh, physical utilities. People can use carbo as a payment method. And also, like let's say we one day we were talking, we were discussing this, Johnny, a uh, couple of times. One day we 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 expand to Vietnam, for example. We can we can create this like a green um, green initiatives around the carbo token about around the installations in Vietnam. We can reward people to help us in clean carbo in carbo token. Uh, we can reward people for cleaning the the planet or, or places around Vietnam paying them in carbo. It's just when we connect this with the the installations, physical installations with the blockchain model. Is this the sky is the limit of the possibilities? This is the main reason why we use Carpo. Because normally we could just we could just get the money from venture capital and be the be the installation that's it, and that's it. But it's very limiting. Like if we do it like that, and especially if we do it with with ten twenty thousand uh, members community, then anything we want to do, if you want to expand to some places, like I met you, Johnny, for example, and you can open the possibilities for us to to expand in Vietnam or maybe in America as well. Like normally we would not be able to do that. And then if there's any kind of petitions to be signed, um, just, just kind of pushed to, to some local, local governments in different places to get things, things done. Imagine we can have a petition signed by 10,000 members that, that this is something that people want. I mean, this is, this okay. creates, like, the people can push it on social media. It creates this completely new business opportunities if we do it like that. Well, that's why a lot of investors not even understand on this part of the project. So yeah. the project too big and too large for a crypto investor to really understand what it is. So I always share them and tell them this and that. And, you know, they're like, okay, so let's see when the installation for the machine and that when we know the project legit. And I say, well, by that time, you'll pay 75 cents to $2.25 per couple by then. Yeah. So the, the market would drop. I understand the first, at first, I tell all the investors one thing. First, it's no ever in crypto history ever before developer team will just pull money out their pocket to give a drop back to investor from begin 15%. And I, yeah. I explained that to them. You remember with me and you have been discussed before. And I said with you like, look, Michael, if you, if you lock it up, um, the, uh, the coin from begin uh, for whoever buying pre-sale from begin at first uh, the market don't have no carbon out there to trade from begin uh, to keep you know clean carbon circulating uh, moving so we have discussed and I give a justin to you before I said like can you just make some airdrop for some people and my expected I say like 10% that's a lot but I don't believe your team do care much for the community you guys do 15% 15% versus with original BNB buy-in uh, back then is 8,000 Carbo uh, turn around ended up at the launch point. Uh, we launched for like what? 3.65 um, cent per Carbo. Uh, and yeah. so the person buy pre-sale back then, actually we pay only 3.4 cent per Carbo anyways. Okay. Uh, compared with the BNB market wise and explain to people, you can look all over the crypto market ever before. No one, no projects out there ever before that developer team will pull in 15% out of their reserve uh, carbo supply to give it to the community back. That is your pocket in your team money to give it back to community. And yes, that's, yes. I mean, and, and John, that's, I can, we're talking I can, about hundreds of thousand dollars. Yeah, exactly. Right? And I, I can add to this that, you know, I mean, the... This was this was really bad timing with the launch, and it was oh, well, beyond our control. It's not something, but we we really we we care about the community. We want, we want to make people as happy as possible in the current market conditions. I mean, this is it's it's really I understand. It's, 
It was difficult choices in, in a sense, but we like we the, the choices that we make are always we are trying to find best solutions that are good for the project and good for the community to keep to keep people relatively happy. I mean, you cannot if well, the one, price of the crypto drop like seventy percent, like uh, obviously people are not gonna be happy because everybody's got crypto and people everybody is like 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 you know like below their that they lost a lot of money. So so I mean we we're trying to kind of at least give back to the community to to cover some of the losses that people made on other projects as well. So I think this is the this is the strength of the community as well. Well like like I, I explained it to them but I said um no any other you know developer team will give them 15% but compare the 15% for F, every 50 BNB uh that is 60,000 a uh, cobble. Yeah. And then yeah. that 60,000 car will compare with the price with BNB at the moment. Unfortunately, they get 30, uh, 30% back, not, not 15. So that 30% from original pre-sale price that they get back. So if they just sold that and they still have 100% of car left in their pocket, they already take that 30% investment back. But one thing, yeah, and, and, and hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. One thing okay. that I want to I wanna remind you right here. But the sad part is the investor who get that thirty percent back, they not appreciate it. They sold it. Yes, and and then they 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 sell it, and then they and then they complain the price goes down. I mean, you yep. cannot have both things. Like if you want the price to go up, you need to buy, not sell. And and it's like for me, it's like really funny. Like people come to the chat sometimes and like, ah, oh, what's happening? The price goes down, and then like and. And it turns out they are selling. Yeah, they, they want everybody else to buy while they are selling. I mean, this is like, if you sell, the price is going to go down. This is another thing. I check some wallet, the amount of coin, and I know, uh, like me and you, you know, like, you know, we are good friends. We are help each other out. And I explained it to people how legit the project is. But another part of it is a lot the, um, you know, um, um, wallet is really came from marketing selling out too okay the amount of the of, of the the, uh, the coin released to the market and i'm just saying a lot of people not understand why this project like you know we lock in from begin well the part of it i said the cto of the project try to protect an uh, investor from this market crashing so exactly. we don't try yeah. uh, so we don't try to get the investor come out, receive all the coin and dumped it. And so got to make the project harder to grow. And then just because this, it put trigger onto the investor thinking, well, a lot of the, the, the scam project out there, they lock it up like that for developer can push the coin out for the liquidity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the investor looking at it like, oh my God, this is one of those projects. So I keep mm -hmm. explaining to them what we do protecting the investor in this project but on the dark side of it it's most of the investor thinking on the opposite side that we try to screw them okay so i just yeah. want to make this video today i am have question i i'm stay on the investor side and i can ask you the question like those whoever in for investor who invested into this project understand this what is clean carbon yeah. So Johnny, Johnny, let, 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 let me tell you this because I just add to, the, to what, what you were saying. Like, yeah, like some people decided to sell, and this is this is everybody's choice. But but just to be clear, like we, we had the we had the airdrop for the first pre-sale buyers, um, that they were getting like some fixed amount of tokens, and, and over 85% of the because I was I was I was calculating this, I had to know who invests which investor gets double carbo, and over 85% people didn't sell anything. This is like the, 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 the so so people it's like people anything. understand it. it's like, exactly and just 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 to put this in a little bit like a broader perspective as well that um that we launch in the worst possible market conditions this is really I think this is objectively the fact and still we are above the price level of the we are we are still up like the price of the token is up and I think it's 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 in it's I don't know if mainly but the big big part of this is the fact that we lock the token so I believe that. The, the locking the pre-sale tokens was like really good idea, pretty much. If we didn't do it and people would, 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 would have chance to panic as many people did, the price would drop even further. And, and just, just add a little bit like we, 
we are we now we are we are thinking of the best ways how to go forward and as as we talk with dominic about this the marketing is one thing the other thing that we are doing now and this is like really huge because also like some people ask us why don't you like push it so much on twitter why don't you put like every like five messages per day like the like the rockets and and thousand x no guys we are serious project we have European Union subventions, people looking at our project. We have governments looking at our project. We, this is not typical like a, like a Moon Boys crypto project. We are a serious company. This is like our, our messages, our communications, and so, social media channels are balanced. We, we are a serious company, uh, actually two companies. That, 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 and so, so this is the reason why we, some people who are used, for the, used to like a normal crypto, let's say more traditional crypto project, they think we don't push it enough on social media. We don't create enough hype around it. But this is not the type of the project to create the hype. We are, this is serious. And we need to make sure that every communication, every message that we send is aligned with both vision, with the, with the seriousness of the physical installations and the, and the blockchain as well. So we are, we are finding the common ground on this. And just, to, just one more thing because before I forget, we have, apart from marketing, we are looking at the different ways how to, how to raise more funds and how to help to the, to the project. I'm, I'm, I'm at the moment in Dubai because this is the best place to find investors, to find, so to, to find communities, to, to promote the project on a higher level. And I'm like on Friday, I'm, I'm starting to, to go for like every blockchain meetup there is pretty much every conference. And the, the, the idea is that we, I'm go, we're going to use the seriousness of the project, not the crypto part, but the installation part, the European Union subventions, the big parts. To get some venture capital investor, another one. And then if this happens, we're going to use part of the funds to create like a big buyback project, the big buyback uh, system for the, for the clean carbon. This is something that is happening anyway. But if we, if we manage to collect more funds to vi- vi- venture capital investors when I'm in Dubai, we can push the price like really a lot. So this, and then, and then if this happens, I mean, everybody who decides to sell, it's up to them. I mean, but the people who, who decide to keep it, they're gonna, they, the price gonna go up. They're gonna get more passive income from everything. And they're gonna, they, they're gonna thank us for every single decision that we made along the way. I'm pretty sure. Well, one thing I already explained it to the investor. Okay. I explained to them really clear. I said, this project is not just all investor coming in to invest into a clean carbon uh, project, but in the future reference, unfortunately, government will get involved. And when they get involved, they want to own so many share of clean carbon yep. in, in, in this situation. The clean carbon by that time, we have supply limit. Uh, right now, maybe like what, 300 million uh, and chance left uh, in total circulating supply left uh, out to the out of market. So yep. by that time, uh, if a government get in, involved, and I'm just saying, if one day, um, you know, Mr. Elon Musk see the project so potential, he spent a couple billion dollars to buy this, and so guess what? By that time, is who going to have enough supply to sales? Who gonna yeah. have chain to look at a supply for carbon clean? So uh, clean carbon, I'm sorry. So yeah. I explained this to a lot of the people. They just not get it. I mean, um, you know, to the point like uh, if you want to invest in something, you want to invest into that, that share in that company and you not even read about the company history. You're not look at, looking at the stock share, how it's going for the past three years and when the, the big downtrend times and stuff like that. If you don't look at the information for, the, uh, you know, for what you try to invest in, it's just sad to see people influence uh, from the others and not understand 100% about the project and they just jump in and investing and then later on, you know, and they missed the, the train. And then if, the, when the train already yeah. take off, the only thing you can so, see so is the railway people, left. So, some, people, some people join to make like a quick money pretty much. And, and if you join to make quick money in the worst market conditions when everything is dropping, you're not going to make quick money. So the, our project is for, is for more long-term investors and they're going well, be I mean, be to be better, be best off. And I, I think I mean, even... I, 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 yeah, yeah. We, we, even now we, 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 we gave away so many like the, the airdrops. I think altogether, like for most of the investors, this is around like 20 to 25 to 30 percent of the investment. They got back in airdrop already. But apart from that, if they didn't sell anything, they have more carbo because of the passive income. They are, genera- they are generating the, the BUSD as well. 
So even if the price is kind of stable, people get like passive income, like out right out of it, like without any with both like two different forms of passive income. So I think if you combine all this together and, and just also the moment when we start with the first installation, and this is actually happening, there is no way anybody will stop us with the installation. I'm part. sorry. Can I, Can I jump in real quick? Can I jump in real quick? A lot sure. of investors asking me, okay, you said you have a contract for installation already, right? I, like this is like we we we're gonna publish this Johnny in at the right moment. I think it was before between you and me only. This is not the public information just yet. I understand. They are asking me when the insulation will be applied, and I say from the maximum to end of the year this year. That will be happening. Okay. Exactly. So I, also now, so and answer. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be delivered by the end of the year. Installation should be running. This is really this is what's happening. The, the building process obviously is gonna start much earlier. We actually it's gonna start very very soon. Everything. So well, people don't understand it. We plan for this project. We all will meet in in Vietnam to find another big market for this project as well. They don't know that. Okay. Yeah. For nationwide. Yeah. Investor all out there, they don't understand. I work my best try to get clean carbon. When you guys done with insulation over Spain, completely done the progress, the, the, the machine run perfect, we were introduced in, you know, to Vietnam and United States. I am already talking to someone here and then try to get things moving. If we get approved and we have all the layout and qualification and requirement for United States law uh, to run some of those, you know, those machine here. Yeah. And then not just that, this trip, we are meeting in Vietnam to talk more about the project and we go in to expanding it. And by that time, when people realize about the clean carbon project, how legitimately this project is, it's too late. Yeah. They missed the train. The only thing they can is see it? is the, yeah. the, the rail track left. Yeah. So, and, and I, to, I, be I, honest, I, to be honest, to be honest, I like this idea. Like because like in a sense like people who who believe in a project should be rewarded mostly for that. If 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 everything is super clear, if we deliver everything on time, everybody is gonna jump in. So I mean, like it's it's good to give some opportunity for people who can distrust us and they can buy now when the price is so low. And I I'm happy. I'm, I think this is really perfect because these kind of people who believe in us from the beginning, even if the market is down, even if the if 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 you know if if things are not 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 perfect, these people should be rewarded the most. Okay, for the requirement, um, you your team have any idea that is in the future, if one country or one facility like to put this machine in their waste yard to operate, do you have do your company ever require to have to have the token from Clean Carbon part of it to purchase the machine? Or they have to hold yes, certain part of it. Definitely, we're gonna we, in the in the in the quarter three. We are planning to start with the French franchising. Maybe quarter four if if the first deal is happening, and then every every and I I got some like yesterday I spoke with some guy from Poland actually. He wants to he wants to get me in. He's like a big big businessman. He wants to have installations like that. It, it, like so for like this is the, and that's gonna be a requirement like that. Um, everybody has to have carbon tokens for that, of course. We, we already have agreed uh, on this and our meeting in Vietnam, um, like I just share public with them for they understand what the clean carbon is, okay? So I am, will tell them the truth, okay? We already have connect in Vietnam with some investor that interested looking at the idea and the machine from clean carbon uh, situated how, you know, to see how it's work and how the machine can be success to take care of the waste, you know, from uh, the waste yard. And this trip, we go over there and we do all that. We talk to the investor and they want to be dealer in Vietnam. And yes, they can. And so to me, um, if all the investors understand what, you know, we, we have think and what it's a real clean carbon is, I don't think we should be under X20 from launch right in now. Compare with, I mean, it's, a lot of people are like, oh, oh my God, the project is big. Why we have only 20 some hundred wallets investing in it? And then the truth is, you know, some project, even they know like some like, you know, I can't tell you what it is. We kind of, I don't want to talk bad about a project. Well, I know it's bad. Okay. Like other project launch and they have like 5,000 wallets. 
and they know they just robbing people with twenty percent tax fees, and they know that they try to take the the all the interest out of the project legally. I mean, and then we can't call them do the drug pool, but ended up they success more than real legit project. And a lot of uh, investors out there did not even know clean carbon is exist. And another question I want to ask that I have a question all over every single day. Okay, the question is when. Clean carbon will list on coin market cap and coin gecko. Yes, yes, I know. I know you guys already applied in it, but the question because the coin market cap yeah. and coin gecko, we have millions of people go on that site to look every day. Yeah. Hmm. As I as I explained like many many times, we we applied for everything. Like based on the, I I got some like I, I got some like um, messages on the community yesterday that that they were looking at other projects who who launch. And they got they got listed like like up to three weeks later after after the listing because like apparently like they are slow at the moment and this is this is not this is completely beyond our control and it's actually I was thinking like yesterday it's it's not it's not so bad that we don't get launched just yet because now we we are giving away so much airdrop some people decide to sell I think it's better if we if people who decided to sell they sell. And then actually, then we start like a new kind of bull run with everything, and and hopefully also in in combination with the with the whole crypto market, this would be perfect. So this is completely beyond our control. They actually say it explicitly when you when you learn, when you put these applications that don't send multiple emails. We've already submitted the forms, and if they if you if you just try to rush it, it just slows down the process. The only thing that we need to we got the confirmations. They are they are just putting all the information out there. We are there on the list, and it's gonna. It's gonna it's gonna be completed when it's gonna be completed. There's nothing. There's no other way for me to say it, really. But it's and it's 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 coming. Like we are definitely gonna be listed there, so guys. So just don't worry about that. Well, I explained it to you one more thing. If clean carbon listing on call market cap and call gecko, I guarantee you by that day we may be X ten just listed on there. So I just want to invest to understand what we just discussed about and hold on to it. And understanding what you hold in your wallet right now may be worth more than whatever coin you ever hold in your wallet ever before. And I know Dar- Dominic want to say something earlier. You have some suggestion to say uh, there, sir. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't remember what, what, what was what was it. I just wanted to chip in, um, but uh, yeah, it's not relevant anymore. Thank thank you for asking. Okay. Well, the thing is, like you know, this market with this market condition, okay, twelve hours before we, um, you know, clean carbon was launched uh, into public on Pancake Swap, okay, um, market dropped like eighty-six billion dollars in twelve hours yes. before we launched, and after we launched four days after that, it dropped another two hundred plus billion dollars in the whole crypto market. That's a big dent. So it totally with less than a week. Okay, crypto is dropping twenty six point seven percent of the market. I'm so happy today when I saw. I look at like, wow, it's grown up over fifty billions now, over nine hundred billions uh, for you know coin market cap right now. But I'm just saying, a lot of the time, uh, investor they have to understand uh, the market condition, and um, you know we're talking about some other project, the climbing price or reducing on the price. But the three main legit main coins in the market is Bitcoin, Ethereum, and BNB. They are dropped just like like far up the sky as well. And you see, uh, Bitcoin dropped down to seventeen thousand dollars at one point. So I'm just saying, I mean, investor understand. I, a lot of my viewer and you know, in my group, they kind of disappoint with me sometimes because what I tell them. Uh, share information with them about their project and they drop and not increase in the way I expected in it. And I just say, uh, if you look into the full picture of the whole market condition, you can tell exactly what's going on. I mean, yeah. uh, we can't just like, you know, only one coin going to grow. And the sad part is the market dropped ever before, like, you know, compared with 2017, this 2017 compared with now with like nothing. It's like zero compared with market condition this year. It start dropping since you know late November, early uh, December, 
it completely dropped. It dropped like six times, six big times in this market. And I think it's, um, you know, I'll be honest with you. After yesterday, all those news, except next month, if, you know, Mr. Fed have another news about increasing tax, I don't know if that could put another dent into the market uh, situation or not. But to me, I think yesterday about, you know, uh, afternoon, evening time yesterday, uh, the market is actually bottom. Yeah. Every time oh, start, start climbing like, up right I, now. I, 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 I hope I hope it's bottom already. But but to be honest, just like because all the markets are connected together, it's not really about the crypto. Governments are printing a lot of money. This is the consequences of the coronavirus. Everything is kind of like now catching up to the to, to the real situation on the markets everywhere. And if you think about it, like all the crypto like really dropped down quite a lot. We I'm gonna I'm gonna say this again. We are still above the initial launching price. When we distributed 20 to 25 percent of the tokens extra for the people, and everybody got also passive income from our token, and the, I, I think in the next weeks or even months in the summer, the price of all the crypto market could go down. And if you think about it, like having carbo tokens in a situation like that, with we are relatively stable, and then everybody gets passive income out of that. That's like it feels like a like a really good kind of s- opportunity for people still. And this is, I think, this is why most of the people they keep their tokens. They decide not to sell because they know in the current situation, having carbon well, like, is better than having. I B&B think this. I I tell I tell you something. One sentence. I think, and 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 from the investors' point of view, I'm not saying that all of them, but say some of them. It's not keeping the carbo in the wallet. It's it's the risk. People, yeah. people, it's like, it's people realize that, you know, how, I mean, not, not, not all of them, but some people, they informed investors realize how big, how huge potential uh, clean carbon has. So it's, it's a risk to not take risk. <laughs> it's simple as this, man. Yeah. Well, the thing like this, uh, on, um, you know, crypto market wise, I mean, everyone knows about it. But one thing like in my group, I already tell them like when clean carbon now, you know, I ask them to, if you want to reduce and if clean carbon launch X15. So why you don't book a loss from Safe Moon, uh, you know, Sinjars and, um, you know, other projects like Everdome, you know, other legit coin before uh, to invest into uh, carbon clean. And guess what? They did. And now they, some of them, they're not even understand and they're thinking uh, why clean carbon, not X10, 15, like you say, but turn around, they don't see in the part. When we sell in Everdome, the price is four cents and now they drop under a penny. Yeah. Yeah. Everything like they sold before, actually they're making profit on that when they invest in, into carbon and carbon we bought them with BNB, so the BNB price drop and went with a launch price actually, and then the fifteen percent, so that can be thirty. So actually, they make it money and they save a lot of money now when they invest into clean carbon. Then it lift those uh, investing into BNB or you know other project before, and now they gotta you know split in five, four, six ways before, and then now clean carbon they still even money, but they get the thirty percent from the airdrop, you know the fifteen percent. Compared with BNB yeah. price back then, so like thirty. So I mean, yeah. on either way, but I I think and I hope with the mark uh, the market uh, a little bit more stable from now to another couple of weeks, and the the, the people whoever hold clean carbon they don't be living in uh, carbon clean project that they sold it all, and when we are pretty much at the bottom now, so. Yeah. And I think also like through. some people, some people might might have believed in the project, but they just panicked because if there's a situation yeah. like that, people they just afraid. And and usually, the smaller projects because we are still quite small, they drop the most. So people were like, I don't, I'm I'm afraid to have carbo at the moment. Like when when the market everything goes to zero, like the people were panicking. Like I I want to have some stable coins. So I so I mean this is completely understandable. As you say, I mean I. I hope the market's gonna recover very quickly, or maybe it already started. Started. Let, let's see. I'm just, but but I'm just wanna say that we we are prepared for every possibility. The the carbo token is not it's not that dependent on the market. This was by design. This was this is the part of the system, and this is actually all the vesting things that we did, uh, the the passive income forms that we did. Um, also, like not relying on other like the liquidity. We only have to be USD, so people cannot get cheap BNB now, for example. 
by selling Carbo because the BNB price is low and they want to buy. No, they, they're going to get BUSD. So, so I, all the little things that we did, we were prepared for conditions like that. Obviously, it's not going to be great. It's much better if there is another bull run and everything goes up, but we're not going to suffer that much. And, and it shows. It shows. Like some people are selling off for sure, but I think, I think we are still above the, the, the initial launch price pretty much. And, and after we launched, everything was just going down and we, we didn't. So I think this is, this is the simplest kind of explanation that we, we are prepared. And it's, it could go even down a little bit more. Some people's going to see it as opportunity. They're going to buy. We have no control over that, but we are, we are better prepared for the, for the bad market conditions than most of the projects. I can tell you this. I can tell so, you also that I think uh, that uh, there are still there are people are waiting on the sidelines to jump in. I'm pretty sure there's like some percentage of investors that that could have sold already on on on, on the top at uh, the all time high or um, never bought, and they're waiting for the for the price to stabilize and then they jump in. And this is yeah. this this is this is one of the possibilities as well. But we as clean carbon, we're gonna keep pushing. Regardless of the circumstances, because you see, never, no one told, no one promised us it's going to be easy, man. You know that there were a couple of indicators that you know the price might fall of uh, the price of Bitcoin might fall. Obviously, the market will fall because it's all correlated. But you know we, we well, were prepared for that. Then we're going to keep pushing. I I don't mean it, but I just say um, when soon at uh, clean carbon listed on core market cap and core gecko, I guarantee you. That thing gonna make a big, big wave. Uh, people are not realizing it because call market cap is is every single one. Even myself still go on there every day to looking for things. Okay, so it's gonna take a big, big impact when clean carbon listed on call market cap and call gecko. And by that time, uh, who knows what the price of clean carbon w- would be? So I mean, you know, with all inf- information provided uh, to you. And I have another partner uh, work with me, and they uh, he he kind of like to ask some questions too. So, uh, for the information for investor today, uh, our conversation here, um, and if any further information in the future, um, I would like to um, you know provide this, you know, and helping the investor understand more about the project and any uh, and you know extra idea uh, go you know will come in soon. And I will uh, make another video, a uh, phone call like this, and I record it. And I will post into public for people to understand what it is and then, you know, understand more about clean carbon, okay? So I Absolutely. start recording the video I, here I, and I really I appreciate it. I think it's it. a good idea to have this like a like, like frequently asked questions. So like, like this kind of small AMA session, let's say. The moment when, when you feel there is enough questions that are not answered, I think this is a very nice format that we can just have this kind of calls and we, we, yeah. we talk. And we, we just like give you... Through him, like, because uh, sometimes when you write things down, if it's like short answers, it's not enough. I think if yeah. if we have enough time to really explain things in more details, I think this got more impact. So I think this is fantastic yeah, yeah. format. Thank you for that. Yes, I, I agree. Well, I, I agree with Michal, and it's a, it was a beautiful idea uh, because, as as Michal said, the re- written responses can be a little bit dry, but now people can see our faces and see our emotions, how, how deep in project we are. Not exactly yeah. right, because a lot of projects out there, you never see developer team even show their face in the project because they, you know, part of it is they're not really legit, you know, so they're scared to yeah. show who they are. And a lot of them not even scared to show an AMA, they only do in the voice AMA because yeah. they don't want people to know who they are. But, you know, you guys, you know, stand up straight, you know, you know exactly what it is and it's legit. So why you have to worry, you know, people have to understand no. this. <laughs> But you know, uh, well, I mean, there, I is, there, is, there is no there, there is no way out for us like at the moment and never <laughs> like we we are out there. There is nothing we can do <laughs> to like quit the project. We put our faces, our money, our reputation, everything on the on the on the table. So I mean, even if the price gonna go down, we are gonna be here. That's what I that's what I can say. And nobody is leaving clean carbon, and that, uh, and we gonna we gonna find the solution how to how to explode the price. Yeah. I yeah. think this one exactly what the community like to hear. So I appreciate it, guys. And looking forward no, to asking you more for more information next time, okay? No Thank problem. you, Johnny. Thank you very Thank much you for having us. All right. Uh, okay, guys.